Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at Trilio. We're going to be building a message appointment system. So you will be able to send in a message and then make an appointment in a database. Okay, so what you need for this to work is you need a Trilio account. It's pretty easy if you don't have one. It's just click, click, and it, it's pretty good at navigating you through. And then when you're on this screen here, if you don't already have an account, you just got to press right here get a phone number and then you will get a phone number and also it's pretty good at navigating you through that so once you have an account and you're at this point you can see your phone number and you can see your balance i'm just going to be walking through this code because there's quite a lot of code so uh, i will also have the code down below which you can download so the first example here is in express i'm going to be showing two different examples one in with now which is the one we're going to be deploying but if you don't know now and you don't want to use now then you can just use this express example which is the one i'm going to be explaining it with i'm also quickly going to explain the other one but they are very very similar so first i import express mongoose and trivial i use this trivial message responder it's just a helper function that generates the xml that trivial needs to send sms then I just set up a basic express server with the port. I use some JSON middleware to convert the JSON that comes in from the API. So the API, truly, uh, whenever a message comes, truly will send you a JSON request and then you have to return an XML request. Then I have just an instantly instantiation function here. Then I connect to Mongo and this is an Atlas server. You could also use any server. By the way, this connection string will not be valid when this video is public, so don't even bother. Then I show a success message if it's a success and a failed if it's a fail. Then I just make appointment schema. By the way, this is all Mongo stuff, so if you had a different database, you would also do something different. Then I convert that schema to a model. Then uh, down here I have an express route where I make a new instance of that message responder. Then I wait for the database document to be ready. Again, another mongoose thing. Then I check if the request.body, so the request.body comes from the middleware. This middleware here. Which is just a post request. And then the dot .body again, that comes from Trivial. So Trivial sends your request where they have a parameter called body. I can actually show you the request. The request they will send you is going to be this one. So the from phone number is always going to be the person that sent you an SMS. So this is going to be like the phone number. It stays the same. And this is a message ID. So it's, it's a different one each time, even though it's the same phone. But this does not change. And then there's the body and a few other parameters. Then I just check if that equals help. And if it does, I will then use the Trilio message responder to generate a message to saying book, then the full name, then the date, then the at, and then the time, and then a custom message. Else I check if that body object, which is just the SMS, starts with book. Then I use a regular expression to destruct that. And then I just generate this appointment object. I use some time and convert the time and date to time and date and the full name and just splits that up. And I use a few other requests from that body object. So I use the account ID and the message ID and the from phone number. Then I just save that in the Mongo database. Then I write this message just saying you have to write yes to confirm. Then if I get a yes, I will just update that entry in the database where the ID equals the same account ID. So that would be like the same phone number. So you can't say yes for another person. And then I just change the value to confirm to true. This is a property mongoose returns. If, if something was modified, then yes, it was booked. Else I will just send that an error message. Then I just do an else just say and that's just going to be the same as the help command so i just return that if uh, none of the commands are valid then i prepare the headers to, for being xml because we have to return the xml and then i take that trivial message responder and do two string on it and that will then convert that trivial object to xml then i just start that express server so if you just quickly start this we can actually see So this is obviously a local instance and Trivial wouldn't be able to access this, but I have prepared Postman over here. So we can actually send some test requests. So this would be the same request as Trivial would send. You don't have to do this. It's just to show you how it works. So I have the database over here. It's an Atlas database, could be any database. I have no appointments. This would be the same as sending an SMS. So I will send this SMS here. And you can see that that says write yes to confirm and you can see the XML object. And if we go in the database here, 
you can see that we get the request and confirm is false. So if I just quickly write yes over here, there you go. And now let's refresh. There you go. That says confirm and the response was just this. So that would be the response that Trivial then would send to the phone. So let's delete this request here. And you could obviously have just deployed this on our server and everything would work fine. And that's totally fine if you're doing that. But I wanted this to be pretty easy and I wanted it to be cheap for you guys to test this code. So because Trivia or Trial account is free and you can send quite a lot of messages, I wanted the whole experience to be free. That's also why I picked Mongo Atlas because you can set up a free database. I won't show you how to do all that, but there's a lot of videos on Mongo Atlas. And also the next thing we're going to be using, which is now. So if you don't know what now is, it's just a deployment thing. So you just write a basic command and you write a few files and then in tell it how to deploy stuff and then we'll just deploy it. So I will also include this below. I'm not going to be going over it in detail, but this is my now file. So I just say that I want this API source. I want all JSON files to be passed with node. And then all I want all routes to be navigated to that one file. I don't know a whole lot about now. So I'm also just getting started, but this is essentially the same example. You can see that I import the mongoose and the message responder. I then make this appointment object. And then I have this function, which is by the way, not an instantly instantiated function. And you see it's pretty much the same code. There's nothing different really, but where it's different is that I do a module.export and then I export this function. And then I do all of the same stuff. So it's a bit different. You don't have the whole express, but this will actually deploy for free to now. All you have to do once you have logged into now and set all that up, so you do now dash dash broad, that will just put it to a production build and you just press enter. You wait a bit and then it's going to be up. Let me show that. So then on your now dashboard, you're going to have this SMS appointment here. So you can just press here. And then right here, you will have the URL. You can also see all of the locks. But right here, you will have the URL and you can just open that. And then you can see PI. Now this will give me an error because this expects a post request and we just gave it a get request. This is going to be fine for Trivial. Then on Trivial, we're just going to go right over here. Down on phone numbers. Then you're going to click the phone number. If you have multiple, pick the one you would like this to work on. Then we're going to scroll down and then we're going to paste this in here. And if you have set it up with a different service using the express version, then you would obviously put that endpoint to that route right in here. Once you've done that, we have to hit save down here. And then you can change this to a get request as well. But right now, whenever you send an SMS to that phone number, it will go out and make a request to that endpoint with this JSON object here, which will obviously be relevant to whatever message was sent. And then you are just going to return this XML object here and then they will send an SMS. So let me take a look at that. So on my phone here, I'm just gonna send this message here and we can watch here in the Mongo database here. You see that there's no documents and uh, we're just gonna write book. I want Vincent lab and I want the appointment 2019 and 945. I want a green haircut and we'll just send this. And because this is a trial account, I get this trial message here, but you would obviously not get that if you didn't have a trial account. And then it just tells us to say yes. And you can see if you go load the database, you can see the request there. Now I say, yes, this is what I want. I want a green haircut and I press yes. My appointment is now booked. And if I refresh this, you can see that the message says confirmed. Now I will include quite a lot of links down below to a lot of help things. The tutorial which I follow to make this video is right here. So we'll also include that. They explain it and uh, if you want written version, you can, you can just read this version here, but it explains it pretty well. And if you want an explanation on how these different parameters work, you can read it also right here. It will tell you what all these does. I honestly think Trulio's documentation is a bit confusing. So that was why I made this video, but I will include a lot of the good links here. They're quite difficult to find on their docs. They have some nice examples, but it's pretty difficult to find what you need. So that was mainly why I made this video. And also it's a pretty awesome project. So I hope you learned something and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.